Hey guys, what's going on? Crucity here. Today I'm bringing you guys another video. In this video, I'm going over how to get better at Search and Destroy. This is one of my more favorite game modes just because it is a bit more strategical than the other ones. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Starting off with our first tip is communication. Now, this is probably one of the most important tips just because it could mean the win or loss of a round. The point of this is that you have to communicate very well and make rational decisions. If you only see one A, you might be able to get a mid player to rotate A, but still have someone or two people on B to defend it. Unless you guys see bomb or something, um, I would not recommend getting your entire team to rotate. So communication is definitely key on which site they'll be pushing. If you see two or more players, they're probably pushing that site and this will be really crucial. And if you hear something, that'll be really, really helpful too. Going on to our next tip, don't leave the bomb site. As something as it might seem, holding down a bomb site is very important. The thing is when you go leave a bomb site, let's say for offense, right? You leave a bomb site and then they push up onto that bomb site. They get a foreman on that bomb site, and that basically means now they have like two minutes, or not even two minutes, like a minute to hold down the entire bomb site. And now you're having to break through them. It should be the other way around, where you're already on that bomb site defending, and if they get on bomb while you're defending, there it's not like they're defending everywhere you're still on bomb site to help out and kill pretty easily so please don't leave bomb site if you're defending bomb if you leave bomb they could go and get you know ninja defuse or they could um, kill you and that'd be a man down without you needing to be down and like instead of pushing out to go kill someone you could have stayed and that would have been a lot more helpful to winning the round going to the next tip is picking fights that you will win if you know that you want a gunfight or if you know to use that is up to you on which you would want to do if you see someone let's say it's a 1v1 right you see you see the bomb is planted and you go to bomb and they immediately run away now you see them going towards mid back to your spawn and you could either do one of two things if you think you could go after and chase and kill them and then defuse you could do that or you could try and just defuse and probably win like that those are two major important decisions that will win or make you lose the round and whatever you choose is what's going to make you a good or bad search and destroy player now depending on where they're going you might just want to go defuse bomb because it might be too long for them to rotate around back now if they're going to a short place uh, um post up probably defusing isn't the best tip if they could see a bomb if they can't you might be able to get away with it but at the same time they probably will check up on bombs so sometimes a gunfight might be better the challenge especially if they don't know where you are and you know where they are my next tip for you is you have to be patient um i've played many search games where my teammates wanted to rush out and rotate to another bomb just because we didn't hear anything at our bomb but I basically told them to be patient and they ended up planning out our bomb and we got a free round because we were, a, we were already set up and prepared for them to come. Being patient could help you out in many ways and I'm not saying be patient all the time but if you don't know what to exactly do, being patient probably would help you out a lot and bring you a far way in search and destroy. Okay guys, so the last tip we have is to adapt to counter their play style. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is find out how they're playing and what you're doing wrong. Now once you've found those two factors which are pretty hard and sometimes not the easiest to spot out, you're going to have to find out what you could use those. Now once you find out what they're doing to win and once you find out what you're doing wrong, you could your strength against them. So let's say they rush A every time and they stack A and you guys still lose gunfights, which you can probably do since you know they're going A. You could try and have four men go be or three men go behind them 
and one guy post up and not even peek just keep throwing grenades and thinking you're there and just trying to play even more passive which was screwing you over and then two seconds later your entire team's behind them and you get a free round i mean that's an uh, i think that's a good example of how to counter how they're playing and how to adapt to their play style adapting to an enemy play style if they are losing i mean winning is very very important and a key to winning the round those are my search and destroy tips if you got if you guys have any other tips go ahead and leave it down below in the comments anyways guys thank you for watching today's video and see ya